What's up guys, how you all doing? Uh, we are on our second to last day or third to last day over at a place called Saint Amand Leisure. We are right down by Limoges in France, so it's about six to seven hours from Calais. And we've actually brought our families over here with us this week. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> no, it's turned out all right, hasn't it? Yeah, no, it's it has turned out all right. All right. Yeah. So we've not been fishing like we normally would every single day of the week. Well, we have been fishing every day, mm. But we've not been fishing all day, every day, all night. We've literally been coming down here for two or three hours at a time in the morning, go out as a family, come back for a couple of hours, go out for dinner, that kind of stuff. So it's worked out well for that. The lake comes with a, a house that can comfortably sleep, I'd say probably like eight to 10 people. And uh, it's about, I don't know, probably three or four minute walk yeah, not from far. the lake, not something far. like that. Not Although far. you can park your car or your van right down here Access via a barrow is not particularly easy if you like us and you want to fish off your barrow. Uh, you can do it, but it's not an, the easiest thing in the world. But yeah, so far we've caught, <clears throat> I don't know, about 20, 25 fish, something like that. It's been fun. The lake itself is absolutely stunning. You really would yeah. struggle to find a better looking lake than this one. It's, it is really, truly beautiful. Totally in the middle of nowhere. However, the facilities close by are actually quite good. 15, 20 minutes away, you've got a couple of good towns. And then 45 minutes away, you've got Limoges, which is quite a nice city as well. But yeah, the lake itself is absolutely stunning. The house is very nice as well. And, and also a fight like no fish I've ever seen before, don't they? They do kind of. Like, it's ridiculous. I've never ever been anywhere where the fish fight as hard as they do here. So yeah, all in all, it's, it's been a positive experience so far. Whether we had to come back, I don't know. Not sure. Yeah, I'm not, not sure. sure. It's a bonus that you can bring the family. It's good that the fishing is quite easy, so when you do have a chance to come down here, you can pick up a couple of fish. But, yeah. Good place <coughs> to try things out, I'd say. Come. Yeah, good place to start, try stuff out, rigs, all that kind of jazz. Um, and the guy that kind of looks after you in Christoph is a really, really nice guy. Uh, helps you out no end with anything you want him to really very very helpful yeah. very polite great English um, So that's a plus side as well another kind of I suppose con or not con but a negative is Although the house is beautiful and the surroundings are absolutely stunning It's obviously been kind of made out of like an old-fashioned house Obviously, it's probably a few hundred years old But where they've put all of the separators in for the for the floors and the rooms. They're literally thin so if someone on the top floor farts, you can hear it <laughs> on the bottom floor. And Ed can fart, trust Yeah, me. <laughs> and even if it's a really quiet one, <laughs> you can hear it. In fact, you could probably drop a fucking pin and hear it drop yeah. three floors below you. So that's a bit of a downer. Where a couple of us have been a little bit ill, we've been coughing, uh, plus we've got a baby with us as well. That's a potential kind of downer. I think it'd be better if there was actually less of you in the house, probably. Mm. Uh, we've come with seven and a baby six adults one teenager and a baby uh, we fitted in perfectly yeah there's no, yeah, no, no problem in terms of space the house is clean uh, it's nice it's just the only literally the only issue with it is is that those room dividers are just a bit too skinny they mm. could have done with p 
putting some insulation or something in yeah, there just to make it a little bit more. Yeah, just to make it a little bit more private. <laughs> but it's Thursday morning now. We leave first thing Saturday morning, so we've got today and tomorrow. It's actually the Bastille Day today. Yeah, it's Bastille Day today. So that's like a national holiday here in France. So tonight we're going to go out and sell. Well, we're going to go out and see the fireworks and stuff for that. Uh, I was going to say we're going to celebrate it, but then I don't know if it's saying where they've conquered us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, so I better not say that. Um, but yeah, we're going to uh, go out and check the fireworks out and have a meal or something out tonight. We've had barbecues. There's a lovely little outside area up by the house. Like I say, Christoph's been great. All in all, actually, when you talk about it, mm. it's more of a positive oh, definitely, definitely. than negative, without a doubt. It's just those couple of little kind of niggly uh, bits and pieces. And we want to catch a lump. Yeah. Now, not only that, if we had have been fishing this 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day, and we'd have constantly been trickling in bait every hour, whatever mm. the case may be, we might have got onto the bigger fish. Mm. The way that we've been fishing it might have been detrimental to catching bigger fish. Maybe they prefer a constant flow before they start getting in amongst it. Mm. I don't know. So it could just be us. We could just be shit anglers as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but... Um, yeah, that's really the only kind of downsides is the insulation in the house in terms of sound insulation uh, and the size stamp of the fish and the variation of the fish. Mm. But trust me, this location is stunning. Is ridiculously beautiful. Kingfishes, yeah. Kingfishes, uh, all sorts. Wildlife. If you like that sort of thing, come in here. You know, you could come here without your fishing rods and have a good time. You know, yeah. it's just stunning. It's beautiful. And we've had a few braces as well. We've had a brace on one set of rods, one zig, one bottom bait. We've also had uh, a brace, one on each rod, uh, one on each set of rods. So we've had a few braces. We've had a couple of nice pictures with two fish at the same time and stuff like that. So that's been good. One of them named into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> one of them was quite ugly. I've got to admit. I might throw it up on the screen now. Um, so yeah, uh, in terms of tactics, uh, we've been using five star baits, the coconut creams. Uh, that's a real beautiful yeah, bait, lovely, lovely and soft. Lovely we, we've bait. really been pleased with that. Yeah. Uh, we've been trickling bits and pieces of that in when we've been down here. And um, mm. me in particular, I've caught loads and loads off of zigs, just 18 inches under the surface. A lot of the water is sort of between about, I don't know, maybe five to eight feet, like 80% of the lake probably. So. Uh, yeah, the zigs just a foot under the water, they've just been absolutely tearing it to pieces. No, not now. <laughs> Tell the camera what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're uh, first brace. <laughs> first brace either ever or for a very long time. So, that's a fucking. Very That's a touch mate, literally one of my, not on the same group of rods either, one on Gal's rods, one on my rods. Rip, what, Gal's one ripped off, within 20 seconds mine ripped off as well. And these fish for some reason fight like absolute bastards. Damn. We've got them in, and there they are. Pretty fucking chuffing at you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get weighed up and put back in. So these two, we caught literally just straight away this morning within 10 minutes of each other, within 10 minutes of getting here. And although these are probably two of the smaller ones we've caught on the whole trip, this is literally what they all look like. And in fact, the one I'm holding, none of the others have looked like this. They've all looked like the other one. Um, almost identical, scales all the way down the spine, couple up by the gills and a line down the middle. Uh, massive paddles, ridiculously active, even once you get them out of the net and they've been fighting the whole time. Um, big mouths, fucking huge mouths. Um, so yeah, that is uh, a couple of the smaller fish from here, but it gives you an idea of kind of what they look like and some of the stuff you can expect to get. Like I say, bear in mind these are probably the, the two smallest we've caught all week. So, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's get these back. <coughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 